Hello. Today I thought I'd share some of my battery experiment I've been doing lately. Having a lot of fun doing that. Uh, first of all, uh, all the batteries are copper and uh, magnesium. They're all separated with paper, the magnesium from the copper, and the uh, they all been bathed in uh, a solution of Epsom salts and water. I mix, uh, I dissolve a half a cup of uh, Epsom salt into a half a cup of water completely and then I I bathe the uh, batteries in it and add some substitute salt uh, to them, rub it in and end up with what I end up with. Anyway, I'll start out with this one right here. Let me uh, put this on flour. This is an inch and a half copper pipe. It's wrapped with paper towel, just one wrap with about a half inch lap. The paper towel is held on with paper tape, little strips of paper tape. And then I put a wrap of uh, electrical tape on the top and the bottom to hold it all in place. Then I soaked it in the uh, Epsom salt solution and uh, sprinkled some uh, substitute salt on it. And that's pretty much what I did with that with all of them pretty much. And I let it dry for a while, then I wrapped it with the, uh, the magnesium here. You can see that already, I guess. And that's how I wrapped it right there. Okay. On this one here, I cleaned that copper pipe up good and everything. And, and uh, when, I, when I first wet it down and, and I first wrapped it, I had real good voltage. I had about uh, 1.7 volts and a bunch of milliamps. <laughs> Anyway, I decided well, I'll let it dry, and after it dried for a day or so, the voltage dropped way off. So I treated it again. I, I actually uh, I wet it down again, and I actually sprinkled uh, Epsom salts on it, rubbed it in with by hand, and I sprinkled a little uh, more uh, substitute salt on it, rubbed it in by hand, and then I just let it dry. I thought, well, I'm not going to tape it up. I'm going to let it dry. Just let it keep right on drying. And after six days of drying now, this is what I got for voltage. Hardly nothing. So, and anyway, I, I, I believe in, in if, you know, if it dried out completely, it would be gone. I, I believe it needs the moisture to operate. If I would have done it after a day or two, taped it up, I'm sure it would have uh, had at least a, a volt and a half or somewhere right in that neighborhood on the battery. Uh, th this I can kind of prove by, it. here's one here I did, <laughs> if you can see that one. It's a half inch copper pipe, this stuff right here. And, and it's made the same way this one is, except for what I did is I let I wet it down real good in my uh, solution that I mixed up, and I uh, let it dry for about two hours, so it was just damp, and then I taped it up tight, and it's been running that pulse motor now uh, for six days, and it's doing a great job, and this one here is a piece of three quarter inch copper pipe. Uh, same thing, separated the uh, magnesium separated from the uh, copper by paper towel. Uh, same uh, boric, uh, I mean uh, Epsom salt solution and and substitute salt. And it's been, it's been, it's been running for 24 days now. And they're all they're all all of them I have all of them driving uh, blocking oscillator, as you can see. Now these over here, they're a little different. I did a video on this, uh, my last video, that explains how I made these with a solid piece of magnesium and the copper wire wrapped around them. I wrapped uh, this one here in uh, clear uh, tape so you could see through it. And this one here, I really sealed it up tight. It was it was uh, very damp when I sealed it up. I used uh, hot glue on the ends of it to seal it better and it's been running for 16 days now and it's driving this uh, blocking oscillator as you can see here doing great this one here has been running for eight, 19 days now driving this little blocking oscillator <laughs> I put a bunch of these together so I can run tests like this um, by the way these blocking oscillators are only drawing about uh, uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 microamps. They, they draw very little current. And, and anyway, uh, th this one here, 
the one I put the radio shack uh, chokes on. Well, this battery here is the same the same thing. It's uh, copper wire wrapped around one of these magnesium bars separated by paper towel and uh, it submerged in uh, my Epsom salt uh, and water solution and uh, substitute salt. And this is running this one here, if you can see that. Uh, uh, there, there you go. It, it's been running it now for 32 days, non-stop. So a little the water locked into them, uh, the little magnesium copper batteries. It makes, it makes a big difference. Here's another one over here. This is one of uh, Lit Motors, uh, a replica I did of his. It's almost an exact replica of his. All these are replicas of his, but just made a little bit different. Anyway, on this one here, I'm running it. If you can see this here, it, it's just a sheet of copper inside of this container, and and uh, one one of one of these uh, fiberglass, uh, fiberglass magnesium uh, bars it's right there. See it in there? That, that that's that's just water in there, and that's been running for over a month. So uh, this is this is kind of an ideal little situation. It really works good. But anyway, they're all working fairly well except this one here. It, it just dropped right off to just about to, to just about nothing. So what I'm going to do with it now is I'm going to go ahead and wet it down again. I'll use uh, and uh, I'll, then I'll hang it up and let it dry for a couple hours, and then I'm going to tape it up. And I'm sure I'll have a, a fairly decent battery out of it that'll last quite a while. So anyway, that's about where I'm at with these things. Been having a lot of fun with it. Well, there's one little one over here. <laughs> now you see a soda straw there, and that's what's running that one. All that is is a piece of magnesium ribbon and uh, and a piece of copper wire. And they're separated by a paper towel, which I sprinkled a little uh, substitute salt in, in the layers of paper towel. Then I submerged it in my uh, Epsom salt water solution, and and I, I let it pretty much dry out, and not not completely though. And I slid that straw over it. And it's been running now for about five days. <laughs> it's probably over a long time yet, especially if I put a couple little drops of water in that straw once in a while. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun doing this stuff. Anyway, that's my update on the little batteries. Been having fun, playing around with them, experimenting with them. Uh, hope you're having fun too. Thanks for watching.